Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 292 of Prog Review. And today I'm talking about, uh, I've got to get it right, District 97 with John Wetton. One more red night live in Chicago. It's quite a mouthful, isn't it? That's what she said. Get it in early. That's what she said. It makes everything sound so rude, doesn't it? Very, very rude. Look, I needed a good laugh. I had a bit of a bit of a rough weekend. The boy's been ill, and you know, it's very hard with an autistic child when they're ill to to deal with them, <laughs> even more so than usual. Um, so I thought, you know, I know, I'll cheer myself up. I'll listen to this, have a good laugh on the way home from school, uh, from the walk from school, and um, I, 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 I didn't laugh that much. I was expecting guffaws. Um, I don't know just District 97 are, don't really care. <laughs> you know me, I'm not a fan of live albums, I'm not a fan of cover versions that are straight up. I like my cover versions to be a little bit left field. Um, but, you know, I listen to this with a, with, a, with an open heart and an open mind. And, um, yeah, I mean, they play all the notes in the right order. In the right places, and John Wetton acquits himself rather well. In fact, John Wetton's in quite good form. Usually, you know, well, in the past, I'd say a good, good few years back now, when he was uh, occupied by other hobbies, you know, he's a, he's a performance, you know, was, was dramatically um, reduced. But now he seems to be, he seems to be back on form again. It was good to hear him, you know, singing like he's got a mouthful of marbles. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. He even gets his own lyrics wrong. Yeah. Tell the man it's on the stone. He says at one point. That's not the. That's not the words. Um, again, the performance is all right. I mean, they lack a certain fire in their belly. Um, I was trying to think of a good analogy. Yeah, it's kind of like taking a, a potato peeler to a knife fight. That's what. That, that's what it was like. Um, they they lack a certain fizzle, uh, but again, I thought you know there was a fairly carbon copy, you know, performance, and John Wetton's um, vocals certainly added added to it. The only problem is, I don't think you can see there, there's a there's a there's a lady, a lady. Remember, folks, keep ladies out of rock, you know, because they they get. I mean, playing King Crimson stuff, it's you know, it's, it's complicated, you know, for their, for their tiny little brains. Next, they'll be asking for the vote. I'm joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. I'm being. Was it postmodern? Postmodern. Uh, no, she sings, but I found it a little bit odd because they, they they turn some of the songs into almost like duets, and I found it. I'd rather have her sing things straight without you know. But they turned a couple of the songs into um, like Great Deceiver turned into a duet, which I thought was a bit strange. But you know. Um, also, there, there's a the, the melody line on the Great Deceiver. You know. Um, the guitar line pan to the which ear is that the right ear your left my right I don't know um, they played it very bluesy you know dee, 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 dee. It's, it's very very bluesy very very bluesy playing but um, yeah I mean it's alright I think I'd have enjoyed it more if you'd have filled me full of beer and I'd have actually been there on the night um, if you like if you like this kind of thing you're going to love it because it, you know it's not it's not bad it's it's better than a certain Crimson project, I might add. I mean, their performances are just um, sloppy, you know, in comparison. Um, I've not been able to get my head round just how uh, their live recordings are. I mean, so I've got, I've got some of them, and I was just like, whoa, whoa. It just didn't feel... It, the, the feel was wrong, if you know what I mean. Whereas this, it's you know, it, it chugs along. John Wetton adds to the proceedings, and um, again, if you if you like it, you're going to lap it up, you know. Not for me, 
it's not for me, but you know, and like I said, it lacks a certain fist. Yeah, actually, towards the end, Easy Money was where they actually started to pick up. Starless is only in the bridged version, which, you know, but Easy Money, they actually start to, um, I thought they start to find their groove. Um, but you know, I mean, for a band doing covers, you know, it's, key moves, it's hard to pull off, you know, so, but you know, I thought if they had a little bit more fire in their belly and a little bit more crunch in their guitar department. I think I think it would have been a bit, you know, a little bit more aggression. That's what it needs, a little bit more aggression. Um, and I think, yeah, they'd have, they'd have got it. Um, but again, not, it's not really, it's not an album I'm going to go back to. But if I had to listen to a cover version, a cover album, I'd probably listen to this over the Crimson Project. And I know people are probably gasping because the Crimson Project is essentially King Crimson without Robert Fripp. And, I th and this is the problem without them being under Robert Fripp's steely gaze. Um, they lose a certain um, a certain cohesion. I feel. Feel free to disagree. Feel free to disagree. You know, but I'm just saying on on the on the bootlegs, the live bootlegs that they've put out, the like the, the official ones. So I got I got those. I never reviewed them because I was just so like, oh, nonplussed by them. But you know, it weren't bad. I'm, I'm gonna give it. You know, I'm, I'm being fair. I'm being fair. I don't I don't usually like this stuff, and I hold. You know me. Oh, King Crimson and I regard why you know why listen to this? He said when look at this when when I when I should be oh listening to the rest of that. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, it's all falling off. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you if you really really want to check out what John Wetton sounds like playing with some musicians, and I'm I'm going to use the word competent, not being a good way. I remember I had, I had uh, the guy I knew. We used to use the word competent. It's almost as an insult. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's very, it's very competent. It's very dismissive. But no, they're very competent in a good way, and um, you know, yeah, not not a bad, not a bad thing. I've mean, I've heard some, you know, some of these things are absolutely appalling. Again, wet and back in back in the night, late nineties was. You know, when you did these cover versions, were absolutely painful to listen to, and that's from Wetton, but you know, he held his own here. I was nearly going to throw in a, 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 a smutty innuendo, but about holding your own, but I thought I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was right. Um, so yeah, as a rating, it's a tough one. It's a tough one, you see, because. My my instinct is to just go yeah, and slate it and be cynical. Going, it's rubbish. But I know some of you out there like this kind of stuff, so I'm going to give it a very strong three, three. District ninety sevens out of five, and it's a strong three, not a weak three. It's a strong. Th <laughs> Herbie's called me via FaceTime whilst I'm doing this. Uh, Hello. Stop. What are you doing? This is <laughs> this isn't meant to happen. I sent him upstairs with the iPad, but um, uh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to. I have to ring off. Uh, he's, he's hung up. He's hung up on me. Herbie's discovered FaceTime on the iPad and he's calling Dad. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, it's put me right off. What was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, anyway, yeah, check it out. It, it's not bad. It's it's all right if you like that kind of thing. It's not bad. District Nine Seven with John Wetton. One more red night live in Chicago. In fact, you know what? I wish I'd have been there because I think, like I said, with, full of beer. You know, I'd have been shouting at the front, cheering them on because I think I think it was it would have been a good night to have been at if you can get over. You know your King Crimson fandom, and if you, if you hold them precious, but hey, better than the bloody awful uh, Crimson projects. Ugh. That's it. My name's been Darren Locke. <laughs> Only one more thing to say. He said before the boy tries to contact me via FaceTime. He's 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 that they sent him home sick. Though he doesn't feel like he's got a temperature to me. He feels very full of beans, as you've just as you've just found out. Um, anyway, 
feel for you. Go on, skedaddle. <laughs> Prog on. <laughs>